Hello everyone and today I'm here with a new topic that is calculating volume of prisms. Before this we were discussing about the volumes, volume and surface area of cuboid and cubes. Uh, now we will be moving towards the calculation of volume of prisms. So first we will talk about what are prisms. So prisms are any shape, uh, any three dimensional shape. Uh, but if we do not have any particular shape at its space, then it, it is known as prism. And as the definition states that a prism is a polyhedron with two parallel faces called bases. The prism is named uh, by the shape of the base. The cut surface are always the same size and same shape at the end. Uh, explaining this these wordings if i take this particular shape that is a uh, that is known as triangular prism if i take this shape this is a three dimensional shape it has a base it has a height and it has some uh, depth as well uh, we, we can call it high, height base and length so uh, we, when we talk about this particular shape it is triangle from the front and uh, as it, as we move inside this shape it is a triangular at the center as well. It is triangular at the end as well. And throughout we can see that this is a triangular shape. And if we uh, talk about this shape, this is a triangle, triangular shape as well. And uh, when we talk about this particular shape, it is a hexagonal. That means it has six sides, six edges. And uh, when we see it from here throughout, it is the same as well. It has all the same dimensions throughout and it has all the same shape throughout uh, the shape from the front to the back but uh, uh, we need to see that uh, where uh, which particular face is that face which remains constantly uh, which remains uh, 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 same in size and shape throughout so uh, that plane would be known as this plane uh, particularly just, uh, the one which is the base uh, will be named name as base and we first take out the area of this base and then we multiply it by uh, the height to get our volume of prisms. So these are the shape of the prisms which is throughout the same. So uh, when we when we will discuss our, uh, some questions regarding it, this will be pretty clear to you. So let's begin towards the questions. First of all, uh, let's discuss the formulas. That is the formula for prism as is base area into height. This is a fundamental formula that is uh, uh, base area into height. This is used for any any uh, volumetric figures. The for prisms, I've uh, stated this base area into height, but uh, we can uh, take it for any uh, volume. So when we talk about the volume of a cube. Uh, if, we, if we talk about volume of cube, we have discussed earlier that a cube has is a three dimension figure with a base of square. So uh, uh, in, if we talk about the, its prism, prismatic name, that is a squarer prism. If I talk about a rectangular base, which is also known as, known as cuboid, we can uh, call it rectangular prism. And if we talk about a triangular base, which we discussed a uh, bit before, it, it is known as triangular prism and so on are the names. Uh, when we talk about the formulas, when we were discussing uh, the cubes, we had a formula of length into length into length or L cube. And when we are talking about cuboid, it was length into breadth into height. So when we take the this base area, this base area is length into length in case of uh, cube because this uh, it has a base of a square and square has an area of length multi multiplied by length but when we talk about rectangular rectangle has a base area uh, calculated by length into breadth that this is known as the base area which is at the bottom of the shape and when we multiply it by height or the length which is throughout the shape uh, that is that becomes the volume. So these are all in brackets. They are the base areas and they are multiplied by some length or height. I've written it here length. We can write it here height as well. But uh, as all the uh, dimensions are same in cube, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, in the cube and square. So they remains the same. So I've written length and length and, and length, all three lengths. So let's look at the questions. So this is a question. This is a prism. Uh, it has uh, it has a 
parallelogram in front and we can see this throughout it is a parallelogram it is here a parallelogram and we can see this this is a parallelogram parallelogram at at the end as well so uh, we need to calculate the base area base area seems to be this one that is throughout same uh within within this shape so uh, we can take the base area as parallelogram as the base and we can calculate the base area first then we can multiply it by the height that is 120 and we can get the volume of this prism so i've solved it for you that is volume is base area into height when we talk about the base area it is a parallelogram in this case so it is uh, 1 upon 2 into height into sum of parallel sides so height would be this 46 of this parallelogram I'm just talking about this parallelogram not this whole shape so I'm when I'm talking about this parallelogram the formula is 1 over 2 into height into sum of parallel sides and as you can see that 75 and 59 are the parallel sides and it is a height of 46 centimeters so I have plugged in the values here and uh, I have used the board mass obviously to resolve this and then I have got the answer as 3082 centimeters square as the base area. Uh, when we talk about the volume, the volume I had the formula volume is equals to base area into height. So this is the base area 3082 and this is the height 120 then when we will multiply both the values we can obtain the volume as I have done here. 3082 into 120 that is 39 uh, 369840 cm3. So let's take another example that is the case B. In this particular case, uh, we can see this this is a front face which is throughout the throughout same uh, within the surface. So we need to identify this base area first that which one is the base area. When I talk about this area, it has it is not the same because it has a full rectangle here but here it is a gap so throughout this is not same but when we talk about this front face it is same throughout as we can see that this is the cutted part behind this uh, figure as well so when we talk about this shape this is the base area but uh, this is not a, spec a specific area or it, it does not have a specific formula to calculate this area so I can divide this shape into three parts as such we I, I can draw a line here I can draw a line here and I can take three rectangle the to solve the base area first and then I can multiply it by uh, the height that is throughout 10 centimeter and I can get the volume so let's divide it first I have divided it for you that is rectangular 1 rectangle 2 and this is the middle one that is rectangle 3 when I talk about this rectangle, it has a length of 5 and a base of 6. That means 5 and 6, 5 into 6 is 30. That is the area of rectangle 1. When I talk about the area of rectangle 2, it is 3 into 9. That is 27 uh, cm square. When I talk about this particular area, now this seems a bit tricky. That is uh, uh, when I talk about this particular length, this is 9 as it is here and uh, from here till here it is 6. So this remaining part seems to be 3 that is uh, 9 is the total and 6 is this small one and the remaining would be 3 to complete this 9. And uh, when I talk about this uh, specific length as we can see this from the top till bottom it is 16 and from here from here to here it is 5 here to here it is 3 so middle one would be we can uh, add 5 and 3 and then we can subtract it from 16 to get this uh, the straight line which is which would be equal to this so that then we can apply length into breadth again for rectangle 3 so i have solved it here for you that is rectangle 1 is 5 into 9 and rectangle 2 is 3 into 9 and rectangle 3 is 8 into 3 and I have obtained the answer as 96 cm square as the base area and I need to multiply it by 10 to obtain the volume that is volume is equals to base area into height and base area is 96 into 10 that is 960 cm cube. I have another example for you that is uh, that this this is a shape again I need to identify first the base area 
and uh, this front face is the base area which seems throughout same uh, when I talk about this front face it seems something like triangle but it, it is not a triangle because it has a height over here and uh, uh, a triangle do not have uh, this straight line at the end so I need to divide this shape as well as I did earlier in the previous case so I can draw a line here this seems to be a rectangle in the bottom and triangle at the top so I have done I've drawn a line here and it is a rectangle uh, at the bottom at, at the top and at the bottom it is a triangle so I have uh, solved the area of, tri of rectangle first as it would be 3 into 18 and when I talk about a triangle the base area base would be remains 18 but the height would change as from here to here it is 12 but uh, here to here it is 3 so I have subtracted both of the, both of them to obtain 9 cm which is from here to here so uh, we can solve this base area and then we can multiply it by 35 to obtain the volume so here is the solution that is base area is equal to rectangle plus triangle and rectangle is 18 into 3 plus half into uh, 18 into 9 and then the answer is 135 cm square and when I have multiplied by 35 that is the volume of the figure that is 135 into 35 uh, the answer is 4725 cm cube so these were the questions regarding the volume and the uh, the volume uh, of prisms i hope you understood the, all the concepts and if you have any query please uh, comment below thank you